Now, let's apply the movements of Tai Chi Chuan with practical fighting. This is the commencing form. When the opponent strikes with bow step and double pushing palms, I will use the commencing form and double raising arms and then pull down the opponent with double pulling hands. When he tries to rise, I will use bow step and double pushing palms to push him away. The following is the application of the form part while horse main. If the opponent blows with the left fist, use hope or gesture. Step forward and press the opponent down. That is part of wild horse main. Now the right crane stretch its wings. When the opponent hits with the right fist, use left hand ward off the opponent's striking fist. When it strikes with the left fist, fend off the right arm and raise the left leg to kick at the crotch. Please watch the application of the movements of this series in the art of attack and defense. This is the form, brush knee and twist step. Next will be the form of hand strums loot and add one more motion of rolling back to pull the opponent down. If the opponent steps forth and tries to lock your neck with his arm, then push him away with step back and wear arms. So much for step back and wear arms. We have made use of the movements of fending off, rolling back, pushing forth. Let's watch the performance in slow motion. Fending off, rolling back, pushing forth, and the opponent has been pushed down. Let's see how we use the movements of pushing hard. This is the application of wave hands like cows in attacking and defending. The right hand hooks off the opponent's left arm. The left hand pushes and strikes his face. Please draw apart like this. The hooked hand is applied this way. When the opponent pushes forth with the left hand, I will wave him off with the right hand. If he pushes forth with the right hand, I will wave him off with the left hand. Then grasp his wrist with my right hand. Strike his forearm with my left hand and strike him away. The one in green is being held up and then he applies the movement of high pad on horse to push down the one in white. Now watch the movements in slow motion. This is high pad on horse. The following is strike opponent's ear with both fists. When the opponent separates my double palms, I make an arc with each hand and strike the temples of the opponent. This is striking with the bull's horn. One in white pushes down, pierces the opponent's crotch and turns him up. When the opponent strikes with his fist, I will fend off with the left arm. If the opponent strikes with the left fist, I will ward off and pierce the crotch. If the opponent strikes with the left hand, I will fend off with the left arm. Then, the left foot steps forward. Push the chest of the opponent with the right hand forcefully. This is the use of working as shuttles. Now let me explain the needle at C button. The two hands pull and press strongly until the opponent is pulled down. The movements of the needle at C button. Now let me explain the movements of the flesh the arm. If the opponent strikes from the right, I will fend off with the right arm and push his chest with the left hand.